so today I've got this really cute uh, like makeup brush washing machine to try. I was very kindly gifted this from lovelystore.com. I will link the link to the website down below and like the link to this as well. Literally, it's just like a mini electric washing machine for your makeup brushes. Um, but I think I'm gonna try my beauty blender in it because my beauty blender needs a good wash, I'm not gonna lie. I needed this. I just think it's a fun way to try to clean your makeup brushes, isn't it? So yeah, um, I literally spoke to um, the people that sent me this like literally like two days ago and it came already. So it was really fast delivery. This is the little, this little dude. So I'm gonna go downstairs now and find a mini screwdriver and the batteries to open this and put some batteries in it. Who's this? Hi Stella. Right, I've got a screwdriver and I believe this is actually the right head to undo that little screw there. Okay, here we go, it's coming out, here we go. Now let's see what batteries we need. Ah, uh, just double A's. No, it's not double A's, it's triple A's. And I found a brand new pack, so that is good. The batteries are in, let's see if it works. Big reveal. Oh yeah, look. Right, it works. Is my beauty blender gonna fit in there? Just realized, you can do like your makeup brushes, kind of like if I hold my makeup brush in and then turn it on. Um, I can put my sponge in it, but I can also clean my eyelashes in here, if I know how to use it. Basically, fill half of this with like water, add in my soap, and then put my blender in and press on. And then, this is where this comes into action. I can like unhook this and drain the water out like drain the water out into like a little bowl or something. I'm gonna kind of fill it like halfway with water. Like probably like there. Now I'm gonna add in some soap. In my blender goes. Ooh. And then I'm gonna close the lid and just turn it on. Oh, we're going. Here we go. I've opened the lid because my blender is actually gigantic. So I didn't actually factor in the size of my beauty blender versus the washing machine. But I do actually have a smaller beauty blender that I'm going to try in it. It's really dirty. Yeah, so I'm going to try this one in it instead. The bit that it did actually get to clean because it's just massive. And this is the bit that was like sitting on the thingy. So it was stopping it from spinning because it's just a huge beauty blender and it didn't fit in properly. But look at that bit that is actually cleaned because that's the bit that was sitting on it. It's well clean now, but like the water's really murky just from that. So I'm gonna kind of like drain this bit. There we go. This one is working way better because it actually fits in the washing machine. Look at it go. I'm gonna like let it wash for a minute and then we're gonna see how it's looking. Stella is like, what is this? <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I can definitely see like all the dirt that is getting out of here. So it's actually been in there for a few minutes now, and I think I'm about done. Um, I'm gonna turn it off and see what's occurring. Oh, so the water's coming out is like fully clean now, so that means that it is clean. Whilst it's still not the prettiest beauty blender, it looks much cleaner than it did to start with. I think I forgot to show what it looked like at the start. But this was my dirtiest beauty blender that I could find to clean to show you the results. But honestly, it was literally like rock solid before. It feels so much softer. And you can see how much cleaner it is as well. Like all of this is just like staining because I was literally using this beauty blender for months and months and like we've got like this this has already happened by the way i you know like when your beauty blender's old and chunks come out of it but overall it looks so much cleaner than it did i'm gonna drain this water now and we can see like how much nasty stuff came out of it so this is what has drained out of it Ew. and then look in the bottom I need to give this a good clean but you can see that it's cleaned my blender a lot my blender really does feel so much softer and cleaner like it's going to be so much nicer to actually blend with because it was like rock solid before but yeah it looks so much better like i know it's stained a little bit but honestly it's so much cleaner like when i was swilling it out at the end there was no like dirty water coming out so you can tell that this is way cleaner now i would definitely recommend getting your hands on one they're really cute i will leave all the details to this little washing machine um down below i'll even leave like my discount code down below as well um so please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next one